Who uses Fastlane? 217 companies reportedly use Fastlane in their tech stacks, including Bitpanda, Kavak, and Stack. And Fastlane allows iOS apps connected with Cisco Wi-Fi access point to be prioritized. This means your voice, video, and real-time data gets to be first in line. Fastlane is free to focus on new features with Cycle CI and New Legion. Fastlane lets you automate every aspect of your development and release workflows. You should be able to figure out how to set up Fastlane in an existing project and automate the app screenshots. And Fastlane is open source. It's aimed at simplifying Android and iOS deployment. And Fastlane lets you automate every aspect of your development and release workflow. And it currently only runs on Mac OS and doesn't really support Windows. I'm not too sure if it's different, but at the moment, Mac OS. And traditionally, iOS developers are skilled in Objective-C or Swift, but not in scripting languages like Bash, Ruby, Python. But fortunately, Fastlane has announced Swift support so that we can use Swift programming language to configure CI CD setup for iOS apps. And Fastlane is officially supported to run on Mac OS. Linux and Windows could really partially be supported. And some underlying software like Xcode are only available on Mac OS, but many other tools, Actions, and the Spaceship module can work on other platforms. It's useful if you have shared lanes across multiple apps and you want to store fast files in a separate folder and the path must be relative to the fast file that it's been called from. And in a nutshell, Jenkins CI is the leading open source continuous integration server. It's built with Java and it provides up to 300 plus plugins to support building and testing and virtually that in any project. Fastlane and Jenkins are primarily classified as mobile continuous integration and continuous integration tools respectively. It's a suite of tools that allows you to automate your iOS and mobile app releases and potentially this will be saving you lots of hours of development time. It's powered by a Ruby configuration file that's called a fast file in which you can add lanes to serve different purposes. And Fastlane is an open source tool that's used to automate the releases of the deployments of the apps. Personally, I would recommend using Fastlane for anyone who's involved in iOS development. Because once you get the hang of it, it can save you a tremendous amount of time. And setting it up isn't that hard. But it might be helpful to get some pointers on setting it up right. And plugins are what make Jenkins Jenkins. And the main value of Jenkins is that library of plugins. And these usually are community created and they free and open source plugins that extend Jenkins way beyond its job running capabilities. The continuous integration refers to the build and unit testing stages of the software release process. Every revision that is committed triggers an automated build and test. And with continuous delivery, code changes are automatically built, tested, and prepared for release to production. So that's our introductory video on Fastlane. We have 217 companies that are using it. Bitpanda, Kavak, and Stack. Thank you for listening. My name is Ian Hillman. Comment, rate, subscribe, smash the like button. See you in the next video.